it's a good time, like it's something that you can look forward to. Instead of sitting at home doing nothing when you have nobody around, you get to be with a group of friends and you have fun. Go Girls is um, a program that we run for girls. It's grade six, seven, and eight. So kind of those critical years where girls are starting to really, really form their identity as girls and where they get a lot of misinformation about health and about how to take care of yourself and what's beautiful and what's not. Some of the girls, they're worried about like they're too skinny or fat or anything. I think girls this age are always kind of struggling with sort of self-esteem and body issues and things like that. But I think um, this specific kind of generation of girls also has a lot of things to do with sort of Facebook and cyberbullying and a lot of new things that kind of the adult generation now wouldn't necessarily have dealt with. The mentors are, are young women who they can relate to. To me, they're almost like my age and they really do understand me. It's a seven week program and each session is an hour and a half long. So we're in the drama room and so there's always just kind of wigs around and so sometimes you'll, you'll sit down for chats in the beginning and one of the girls will show up with an Einstein wig and a little, you know, old cape and you're kind of like, all right, well, Einstein's joining us, that's fine. A lot of the activities are sort of chosen from an activity pool, um, sort of team building, kind of interacting communication activities. The girls are more sort of grown up and mature than I expected it to be. I think it's more of a kind of, you know, getting to know them and spending time with them and less of a top-down instruction um, approach. What we try and do is talk things through in a sort of getting them to think through the situation kind of way. I like to talk to her about my problems and everything because she's really nice and she listens to me too. I think Nisha is an example of a success story for Go Girls and I think sort of Nisha describes herself as someone who's becoming less shy over time. Yeah, last year I was really shy. I couldn't talk in front of like the whole class and everything, but this year I can. The kind of growth I see in Nisha is this sort of leadership role that's coming out. And you know, whenever we'll play a game, all the girls want to be with Nisha and pair with Nisha. I started writing out my feelings on um, paper. Nisha's poetry is very honest, and I think it sort of reflects some of the things that girls are dealing with at that age. I guess I'm always surprised by how insightful and helpful they can be for each other. There's lots of people that care about you, and when you're ever hurt or something's wrong, you can always tell them. They're like my family, and they're always there for me. They sort of blossom and open up over time, and some of those you know, weird little quirky pieces that you don't necessarily show people on the first day kind of come out. They're taking a bit better care of themselves. Um, and once the mentor is gone, they still have each other. That is the benefit at the end of it, because maybe that one student who felt a little on the outs, now she knows these girls, and they say hi to her in the hallway. We are best friends. Sometimes we fight, sometimes we don't. We can tell each other anything. We can do any and everything together. We are best friends and that's all that matters. I think that they're going to sort of have a you know, lot of rough times in the future in terms of as they grow up and I just hope that some of the kind of positive messages that we can teach them in terms of, you know, having a good time with each other and doing a lot of physical activity and liking cooking and liking to have activities with each other and have strong friendships and come up with ways to solve their friendships. I think if they can just sort of carry some of these positive messages as they go through, I think that would be good for them.